Hi everyone, this is Game Dev Kyle, and I'm making this video as a response to a request I received on how to implement dual wielding. So I'll show you what this what we're gonna make here. So here's just an empty project, and there's a cube that's basically acts as a treasure chest. And when I walk up to it, I have two swords so let's get into it um, what we're gonna do first is make a new project so I'm gonna go to games third person and we'll just leave it as my project and I'm gonna hit create project okay so now we have a blank third person game where I can walk around so first we're going to need the treasure chest so what I'm gonna do is create a new blueprint class an actor and I'm gonna call it BP underscore chest so I'm gonna open that up and let's make the chest a cube and let's give that cube a some collision so that when you walk up to it it'll equip the weapons so let's, there's a box collision here and that's already parented so that's perfect and let me just make the box collision a little bit bigger so I'm gonna lock the scale so it all scales the same and I'll just double the size and there we go so I'm going to compile and save and what we also need are some swords so I'm going to go to the epic marketplace and there are free swords there's a an infinity 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 weapons. If you just search infinity, yeah, so infinity blade weapons here. Um, I already downloaded it, but what I'll do is add it to the project. So this is called, I think it was just my project. So I'm going to add this to my project. and while that's being added oh, looks like it's already here perfect so there are a couple different weapons in here um, the ones that I'm gonna use are this black knight and this hero sword 11 so inside of here these are skeletal meshes and these are gonna be attached to the player so let's set up the player um, here's the third person character and third person character needs two swords so we're gonna add two in empty invisible skeletal meshes so skeletal mesh and then we'll do another one and this one I'll rename it to weapon underscore L and the other one will be weapon underscore R and right now there's nothing in here and they're on the floor and that's fine because we're gonna um, replace these with the actual skeletal mesh and then we'll attach it to the correct socket and then it'll look it'll look fine so now that the character has those let's go back to this chest so we need a way for this chest to communicate to the player when the player walks up to the chest um, the chest needs to tell the player here are two weapons and this is how you should equip them so what we're going to use is a blueprint interface which is a way for two objects to communicate with with each other. So I'm going to go to blueprint class 
actually I'm going to go to blueprints blueprint interface and I'm going to call it int and I'll just say pickup and we'll we'll name this function um, pickup weapon so the blueprint interface is basically the envelope so this treasure chest is going to put two weapons into this envelope and then the character is going to open that envelope and see the two weapons and then do something with it so inputs we need two inputs because this envelope is going to have two things put into it so weapon underscore l and weapon underscore r and these are skeletal meshes, so let's make sure we specify skeletal mesh and skeletal mesh. Okay, so we'll compile and we have our envelope set up and it's going to receive two weapons. So if we go back to the chest, now this is the box collision when the player walks into this box um, it'll trigger the box sending that message to the player so we need the on component begin overlap and we don't need these so I'll delete those and so when the, the, the player overlaps with that collision box the player will be the other actor so let's um, type in uh, let's see what was it called it was called pickup okay pickup weapon so the box is going to s put some things in this envelope and the target is who this envelope is going to so it's going to the third person character right so the third person character will be th this other actor who overlapped with the box so let's put that as the target and then what's going in the envelope is the left weapon is that dark um, or black blade knight which is this sword here and then the other And then the right hand weapon is the hero sword 11. Okay, so the chest, it, it's sending this message, this, this envelope with these two swords to the person, to the character that overlapped with it. And we are all we should be good to go with the treasure chest that we made so let's just go ahead and drag this in to the level so when the player walks up to it and overlaps with that outer box it's going to send that message that envelope containing the two swords to the player and now the player has to do something with that so let's set up the player so the player needs to have that interface implemented so I'm going to type int pickup okay and now oops back to the character event graph so now we need to tell it what does it do when it receives that envelope with the two swords in it well it's called pickup the interface so the message being sent is that is called pickup weapon that's what it's sending so now this is telling it this is what I'm going to do when I if I ever receive that that message. So I'm opening the envelope. It has a left hand weapon and a right hand weapon, and I have two spot two invisible skeletal meshes at my feet. Um, so now now that I have these two weapons, I can put those fill those in into here and then put them into my hands so um, let's set up the sockets for the hands so I'm going to go to the third person character and let's see I'll 
go to the mesh here and the skeletal mesh and let's go open up the skeleton so here are all the bones and what we need is a socket in the left hand and we'll call this weapon underscore L and a socket in the right hand we'll call this weapon underscore R and let's preview the weapons and make sure that they look right on the character so the left hand was the black knight so let's add a preview of the black knight and then the right hand was that hero sword so let's preview that one hero 11 okay so they obviously don't look aligned right now so let's fix that go and then we'll do this one as well okay so can spend more time on this making sure that it looks right that's good enough for now for us okay so I'm gonna save that now we have our two sockets and they're all set up correctly so we're done with the skeleton and now Let's go back to the character. So there are a couple things we need to do. So let's create a sequence. So first, you need to make sure that these are empty. Because as you pick up more, let's say you have a, a single-handed sword in one of these hands, you don't know what you could be previously holding. So I'm going to make sure that these are clear. So. Let's do set skeletal mesh for the left hand. And this is just grabbing that. It's the same as if I drag this over here. And we'll just leave it as blank. And then the next thing is set skeletal mesh for the right hand. And let's add a few more pins here. So now that they're cleared out, we know that we're good there. So what we need to do now is attach component to com let's see attach component to component. Ah, but before that we should let's see. Um, oh yeah, now that these are cleared out, we should assign the new skeletal meshes. Okay, so... What's the new mesh for the left hand? It's You opened up this envelope, and there's a left hand weapon in there, so let's put that in there. And then for the right hand, you opened up that envelope from the chest, and there was a right hand weapon. So let's drag that in there. And now, when the player walks up to this, it triggers this. It's going to send this envelope to you. You're going to open it. It's going to have a left and right hand weapon. You're going to empty. Make sure that you clear out whatever you're holding. And then you're going to put assign these as your new um, skeletal meshes. The problem is right now they're going to be on the floor still so we need to make sure that we attach them to the left and right hand. 
and that's our the last step here. So the left weapon is going to attach to the parent, which is the mesh, which is the actual character. So we're going to attach this left weapon to the character. And the name of the socket for the left one, I believe we called it weapon underscore L. And let's snap to target all of these and leave that checked. So step four, do that. And then we'll do this one more time. So I'll just copy this, paste it. Instead of weapon L, we want weapon R. And then the sequence here, we'll drag that down there. And then the name of the socket is weapon R. So with that, we should be good to go. I'm going to compile and save. And now if we play this, you'll see that when I walk up to this, I'm going to collide with it. And there's my weapons. I hope this was helpful and um, feel free to leave any comments if you're interested in any other tutorials based on the game progress that I've been uploading. Thanks.